Your life is stacked up with many different things. You have your health, you have your wealth, you have your status, you have your family, and you have God. Job's wealth was taken from him. His health was taken from him. It began to affect his status. His family started deserting him, lost his wife, and was taken from him. God told the devil, I'm gonna have you test his faith concerning me. The battle was not about his family. The battle was not about his status. Some of you, you think the devil is after you because he wants your family or he wants your status. He wants nothing to do with that. If it would take money to go to hell, the devil will give you all the money you want. It's not about your money. It's not about your wealth. It's about your relationship with God. Adam had everything and the devil still went after him. Some people leave God because God's not coming through for them concerning money. If it would take poverty to cause you to lose God, the devil will come after you and make you the most poorest person in the neighborhood because he knows that's what's going to get you from serving God. It's not about what you have. It's about you missing out on God. And some people, it's luck. Some people only love God when things are going well. The devil is going to make you as poor as possible so you stop serving God. Some people, when they have money, they don't want to serve God anymore. So Job knew that the battle was about his salvation and his relationship with God. That's what the devil was after. The devil was not after Job's family because the devil did not leave Job alone when he lost his family. It wasn't about Job's status. It wasn't about Job's health. It was not about Job's wealth. This is what the devil was trying to do. The devil was trying to take this out of Job's life and everything crumbles so it doesn't matter even if they have this and they have the others and they have the rest as long as Job had this there was nothing that the devil could do to cause him to lose in the end a lot of times people are so fixated on this on the status on the wealth and the family and the health and they forget that their foundation is supposed to be God watch this there is a reason why the devil still comes after you even when you lose any of these because it's not about this the moment you begin to think it's about what's at the top you've missed the mark already it's not about this it's about what's here at the bottom so Job's family thought it was about these. So when he started losing his health, and he started losing his wealth, and he started losing his status, his wife goes to him and said, why don't you curse God and die? And Job said, no, that's the foundation of my life. The devil was trying to get this out of Job's life. The devil was trying to get God out of Job's life. But Job loved God so much that he was clinging on to God. Though he slain me, yet would I trust him. Why don't you curse God? Let it all loose. Curse God and die. No, he is everything that I have. I can have all of this, but without this eternal foundation, I am nothing. I am not going to let him go. Oh, I know that my Redeemer liveth. He lives forever. And as long as I have him, I have everything. I'm going to make him eliminable in every area of my life. People can mock me concerning my health. People can disenfranchise me concerning my family. People can marginalize me concerning my wealth. People can speak ill about me concerning my status, but none of that means nothing. All these things will come and go, but I'm not gonna let go my God. Why don't you curse God and die? No, he's everything I got. He's my foundation. He's my eternal rock. He is my root. He is my everything. On him, I build my life. You can have all of this, but you ain't gonna have my Jesus. You can have everything you want, but you ain't gonna have my Jesus. He's all I got. If I'm going to have eternal life, he's all I got. If my riches is going to last, he's all I got. If my wealth is going to last, he's all I got. If I'm going to have my healing back, he's all I got. If I'm going to walk in his salvation, he's all I got. If I'm going to have eternal life, he's all I got. You can have this, but you cannot have this. Though he slays me, yet will I trust him. Whoever keeps the fig tree will eat its fruit. Job kept the fig tree. When the test was over, he still had the fig tree. 
And God says, Job, because you held on to me, even to the very end, not only are you going to be blessed in heaven, but on this earth also, I want you to establish me as you did before, because I'm going to give you double for your trouble.